What attempts have been made by Belize to resolve the Guatemalan claim on the road to the special agreement and the ICJ option? Why did all these fail? Belize has been participating in these negotiations since 1962. Numerable negotiating sessions failed. Why? Guatemala always insisted on some Belizean territory as the price of settlement. What they demanded varied from <laughs> from negotiating session to negotiating session. But sometimes it was Ranguana, Sapadilla, Toledo District, Monkey River South, PG South, Sibun River South. So they varied their demand, but they always demanded Belizean territory. Which Belizean Prime Minister? Be that Prime Minister red, be that Prime Minister blue is going to sit down at the conference table across from Guatemala and sign away Belizean territory. It's not going to happen. So negotiations failed due to Guatemalan demands. Mediation. In the mid-60s, the governments of Great Britain and Guatemala asked the United States government to mediate the dispute. Initially, the Americans were reluctant to get involved, but, but eventually they appointed a man by the name of Ambassador Betuel Webster to serve as the mediator. He took a couple years, presented his proposals in the form of a draft treaty, ultimately rejected by all parties. Basically, the Webster proposals conferred nominal independence on Belize, but in fact transferred responsibility for much of Belize's foreign affairs and defense from Great Britain to Guatemala. Obviously not going to work. 1975, the internationalization process, negotiations between Britain and Guatemala, mediation. Having failed in 1975, Belize launched its internationalization campaign. It had significant success at the Nonaligned Movement, CARICOM, Commonwealth, at the UN, but the problem was that the various resolutions and declarations of these multilateral outfits were just that, political declarations, not legally binding, and so not particularly helpful at this time. At the time, in the mid-70s, it was very helpful. The facilitation process between 2000 and 2002, facilitators, were appointed by Belize and Guatemala. So Sridhar Ramphal from Guyana for, for Belize and Mr. Paul Reichler, an American attorney for Guatemala. They came up with a number of proposals for the final settlement of the dispute. The proposals respected the existing land borders bet uh, between Belize and Guatemala and were, in, and, and were generally favorable to Belize. One of the proposals was that the proposals be put to simultaneous referenda within 75 days of the presentation of the proposals. Guatemala reneged, said that they weren't able to keep that deadline to put the proposals to referendum in Guatemala. Then, agreement to establish a transition process and confidence building measures signed February 2003. Why this is important for us is this agreement established the OAS office on the western border near Benke and established the group of Friends of Belize and Guatemala to provide political and operational support for the activities stipulated in the agreement. Then there was an agreement on a framework for negotiations and confidence building measures signed February 2005. The agreement launched a new round of negotiations and for the first time, the parties acknowledged that the dispute may be beyond the reach of a political settlement. And the OAS Secretary General was authorized to recommend to the parties referral to the ICJ or arbitration, any issues that, they were, that the parties were unable to reach agreement on. To the surprise of absolutely no one, 
the negotiations launched pursuant to the framework agreement failed and the Secretary General recommended to the parties referring this matter to the ICJ. And then, and there we come to the special agreement. 